So we want to start this painting and uh, by using our own colors. Instead of doing black and white, we are going to be using our three primary colors to, uh, to do this painting. So the colors that I'll be using for this painting are titanium white, ivory black, cadmium red, alizarin red, magenta, yellow ochre, lemon yellow, Prussian blue, number six, flat bristle brush, palette knife, and a large brush. So what I'm doing right now is tinting the canvas and the color that I'm using is a cadmium yellow. Just a quick reminder, what you're watching here is a introduction video to color and uh, within the next videos I will be talking more about um, color and I will be going into uh, more depth of how color works and how you can use color. So if you're interested, again, don't forget to subscribe and like. So what I'm doing is I'm removing some of the um, paint with turpenoid and paper towel. Um, I'm wiping away uh, some of the color from where the sky is going to be. As you can see, I'm drawing the main shapes um, of the uh, sand dunes, I guess you could call them. And um, they're overlapping lines, so I'm trying to hold on to my perspective. Yeah, I'm just following the main shapes. Um, here's one that I drew. block in um, the color um, and it's uh, pretty dark. I'm trying to hold on to my value. Again, I'm just blocking in what I'm seeing and the color, it's not uh, black. It is um, Prussian blue and a little bit of black that's um, mixed together. And when I apply that color on a wet surface like what I have here, I'll get this shade of color that you're seeing before you. So again, I am painting sand, but I'm also holding on to my darks and lights, and I am interpreting the colors uh, from black and white to the color of my choice. So again, I'm using Prussian blue, alizarin red, and that's going to give me this dark um, purple light color. Um, both Prussian and Elizarin are pretty dark, so, um, so this is what I am getting by mixing those two colors together. So if you notice with my painting, um, the sky would be considered as my um, light tone if you were to break this down into three values. Um, the yellow that you see on my canvas would be considered as a middle tone, and the dark that you see that I'm applying or I've applied would be considered my dark tone. So the purpose is to get a three-dimensional tone or a three-dimensional um, painting right away on your canvas. So as you can see I started with the sky and the color that I'm using is Prussian blue and a lot of white. So now the color that I'm using for the mountain um, is going to be um, purple. So the way I made that color is with Prussian blue, a little bit of alizarin red, and uh, titanium white. The mountain that I'm painting, uh, obviously it has darks and lights in it, but I don't really care about that at this point. I can always come back and adjust it if, if need be. And as you can see, I did go a little bit lighter. I decided to do that after all. So it's, uh, it's really up to you. At this point, you can do um, pretty much whatever you, um, you like. Um, it is your own painting that you're um, trying to develop. 
So now I'm using um, cadmium yellow with again alizarin red um, and I get this orangey yellow ochre like um, color that's in front of me. And that's going to be the sand. So I started to paint the sand. Again, no subtle changes. It's pretty straightforward. I'm blocking in the colors. And sometimes I can keep my edges softer um, to where it's not too choppy at this point, but I might later on um, use some palette knife. I'm still blocking in the colors. And um, you know, these are my colors. So if you were to do a project like this obviously you are using any color that you like uh, whatever attracts you the foreground area um, of, of, of the set I made the color a little bit warmer if you notice uh, I'm using a little bit more red than usual that's just to um, help with the perspective So now I added a little bit of white um, and uh, I did start uh, putting some changes in if you notice my brush strokes aren't as soft as the brush strokes that I have in the background. So uh, another thing that you could also do is um, start mixing your colors on the canvas. So you know that it's pretty wet so whatever you apply on top of that um, is considered to be wet onto wet. So if you are applying colors um, and changes of colors, um, it's all being done on the canvas. So if you want different shades of um, um, color, again, uh, you have uh, lemon yellow as well. That's what I'm using. Uh, I am using uh, different types of red, uh, different types of yellow. So all these are really up to you, whatever you feel like um, using is um, would be okay so within this dark tone I am adding different colors and I am using the alizarin and Prussian mixture for this area so um, you don't have to use black yeah, you could substitute the black color with uh, another color that you think and in this case it's the um, use of Prussian blue and alizarin red so if you notice, I'm continuously working on different parts of the painting, so to where I'm not stuck on one area, I'm continuously moving through and refining uh, different parts of the painting. So this is pretty straightforward. I'm holding on to my darks, my lights, interpreting the colors um, from black and white to um, to whatever other color that uh, suits me and if you look at my painting there's some resemblance to my example which is on the left but um, I think I am happy with what I have it's very uh, painterly and uh, the purpose is not to get it photographic just put your own um, lights and interpret a lot of it so um, you use a lot of paint, so I do recommend that. Don't hold back on the paint. And also, I have introduced a little bit of black at this stage. Because uh, I do want to create those really dark, dark areas um, to, to make the image look um, more pleasing to the eye. Another uh, purpose of my painting was to create something extremely loose. Uh, I don't need to overly refine, um, do a lot of um, simplification to the painting, both with color and also with my brush strokes. So I really like the way uh, the canvas feels. It's super wet and uh, other colors that go on there, it's not. Um, you get a very soft feel to it and, and it just feels really good uh, doing a lot of wet on to wet effects.
I decided to finish this painting with a palette knife and uh, that is what I am showing you here. Uh, earlier I did say that um, I might um, you know, use palette knife and that's what I'm doing. Uh, at this stage it's pretty um, experimental. Uh, I'm adding some roughness um, to it. Um, I decide to um, change it from really soft um, brush strokes to something that's really um, like what you're seeing in front of you pretty contrasting um, so um, I really like palette knife so at this stage that's what I'm doing now you don't have to you could have just left your painting the way it is and um, in the sky I did decide to put some changes after all and that's what you're seeing there well again, this is the introduction video to color and um, in the next videos I will be talking about um, just different types of um, colors that you can use and also how to mix colors and desaturate them and so on and so forth. So if you are um, interested in getting more out of color, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also don't forget to comment below what you'd like to learn about. Bye!